Welcome to Digitizing Made Fun. Today in Stitch Artist, we're going to learn how to combine holes. So how do we do that? Well, let's get started. I like to work at increased um, zoom rate for my screen so I can see my, um, my outlines better. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to come up here to the Zoom tab. I'm going to work at 3 to 1 today, which is 300%, and we're going to click that. And then how do I get over to my the letter D, which is what we're um, going to be working at? I hold the space bar down. It turns my pointer into a hand, and it allows me to grab the artboard and pan over. So there's our D. We're going to grab our points tool, and we're going to click that. And then we're going to trace the outline of the D. And how you get the straight lines is you hold the control key down while you're clicking. And then that will allow you to get a straight line and then release the control bar and it will allow you to get the curve. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to close my outline and you'll see that on the object pane. That's what we just traced. Now let's do the center of the D. So we're gonna come back up, grab our draw with points tool, and we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna trace, hold the control key down to get the straight line, and then release it, and then you can just click around, and it will make the curved lines. And then now you see we have if you look over in our objects pane, we have the outside of the D and we have the inside. So we're gonna, we want to um, hold the shift key down and click on both objects and that will highlight so you know that you have both of, uh, both of the objects selected. So then we're gonna come up to create, outline, and then we're going to come over to combine holes. And then now you can see that it's one object. And then to get your stitch preview on, you're going to come over here to the eye, or actually, we're going to come over to fill, and you'll see that we don't have our stitch selection um, turned on, or our stitch viewer turned on. So then you come over here to the eye, click the eye, and there you'll see we have the letter D. And then if you want to change your start and stop points, you can do that or your inclination lines. And the inclination li lines just show you which direction your stitches are going to be stitching in. So if you want them up and down, then you move your inclination line that way or if you want it left to right, you turn it that way. Hope this helps and give us a like or a subscribe if you found that this video was helpful. And also don't forget to come over and join us over on our Facebook group where digitizing is made fun. So we look forward to seeing you. You have a great day.